Hey guys, welcome back to the Espresso Outlet YouTube channel. My name is Barrett, and today we're going to be playing with this DF64 Gen 2. I've done several videos and played with this grinder for several days for Espresso, but I want to do some pour over. So I've been playing with the V60 a little bit this morning. I did a couple different grind settings just to check out the new burrs. I've been using similar burrs, but every grinder is a little bit different. So I wanted to make sure that my drawdown time was about where I wanted it. So let's take a look. Okay, so to start with, I'm using this Papua New Guinea beans that are natural roasted. They've been really fantastic for espresso. I actually did some different beans this morning. It's some that I roasted on my Kaleido, some Bali Blue Moon. Um, I'm going to try these Papua real quick though. So we just have a standard O2 Hario V60 and a paper filter. So let's just get this set up. I should have this water pretty much heated up. Let's heat it up again. And then we are going to do, I typically do 20 grams of coffee to about 300, 310 grams of water. That's a pretty strong cup, but I do like it a little bit stronger personally. So that's just the, the method that I personally choose. Uh, let's weigh some out. So if you haven't checked out my video on the retention and the anti-static. I've been very impressed with how the plasma generator works in this. To be right on 20, because we're gonna do a quick test as we do this video too. Okay, we're, should we throw one more? Right at 20, 20.1. Then let's just throw it in our grinder. So real quick, I'm on setting 50, 51, 52 and a half, about 53. I've tried it from 50 to 60 this morning. I felt like this worked pretty good. It was maybe a little bit slow, but again, that's just really how I prefer my V60. So we're at 20.1 right now. Let's grind this. Very quiet. These beans are actually more on the chaffy side, so quite a bit of chaff on these beans. Uh, some of the ones that I was using the other day were pretty clean. So you can see that there is some chaff on the side. Nothing that you can't just tap. Now take a quick look at this grinder though. Of course it's a little bit dark, but this thing is pretty clean. So been very impressed with the, the plasma generator and the anti-static on this. So real quick, this is still teared. We're right at 20 grams. So it's kind of wavering between 20.1 and 20.0. So you can see that whatever we put in is what we're getting out. And I did another video of just cleaning it. We did probably about 20 shots worth of coffee. And man, it's really clean on the inside. That's how my DF83 is. I'll purposely kind of just abuse the thing. I won't clean it at all and just randomly open it up and I'm always shocked at how clean it is. So let's get going. We have the water preheated and I like to just wet my filter, get some of that paper taste out and then we'll go dump it. Okay, so we wet that paper just to get some of that paper taste off and everyone's brew method's a little bit different. Uh, I typically will drop them in, and if I need to, I use the WDT tool just to make a nice level bed of coffee. So to begin with, let's tear our scale, and we have the timer going. Hopefully it doesn't goof up on me. Sometimes this timer wants to mess up. I'm gonna do a 60 gram bloom, and then we'll probably skip ahead in this video. Okay, so there's the three minute mark. That's usually what I'm shooting for. It's gonna keep drawing down just a little bit more, uh, right over three minutes. Um, 
My ratio, I do about 20 grams to anywhere from 300 to 320 grams of water. And drawdown is pretty much perfect for what I like. Now, okay, so if you take a look at the top, there is just like a little bit of muddiness, but these are technically an espresso burr. And I feel like this is a perfect balance because whenever I get a cup of coffee that's maybe too clean, it is just very bright. You get this very bright astringency depending on the coffee where I feel like these burrs are quite balanced. It might not be exactly what you're looking for, but I really find these to be a big improvement over just even the standard Ital mill, which I thought did a pretty good job. So let's give it a quick try, but there is the top and you can tell that it's just a very thin layer on top. So, I mean, we're talking not many fines. Okay, so that was the V60 using this new DF64 Gen 2. It's really been a spectacular espresso grinder so far. Uh, this is the first few times that I've been using it for a pour over. Now these do have the upgraded burrs. They've been coming in the version five. So if you have a version five DF64, you are already familiar with these burrs and I've really been loving them quite a bit. So let's give this a quick test. Uh, let's read off the tasting notes real quick. So this is a natural processed Papua New Guinea. It's tasting notes, ripe mango, strawberry, and ceremonial matcha. So I like to usually just taste it without reading that, but uh, I already read it the other day when I made espresso and really the mango punch through, just very fruity and floral. Uh, it's more of like a cooked strawberry, like a strawberry pie than it is like the raw strawberry. So let's just give it a quick try because it's going to be totally different. So just the nose on it, instead of it being the mango, I, it smells just like strawberry. It smells like strawberry pie. It's just fantastic smelling. Less of the mango, more of like a floral flowery undertone so spectacular coffee uh, a lot of times these type of grinders if they're not the really high uniformity you're not going to get a lot of that sweetness and a lot of the floral um, fruity flavors out of a coffee but i feel like these burrs just offer a fantastic balance i was very impressed with it as espresso the other day now i have these right here so don't think that we're only doing naturals we've done bally blue moon i've used this for espresso as well as I made some V60 with the, the same bean this morning. And these are more on the chocolatey side, so very fantastic. I was, I was really impressed with this Bally Blue Moon today. It's probably some of the best Bally coffee that I've had. It's not my favorite as espresso personally, but if you're using it as a milk drink, it'd be great. So that's the DF64 Gen 2. Really been enjoying it, and I think you will too. Um, there's nothing wrong with the Gen 1, so don't think that you need to run out and uh, rush to upgrade to this grinder. But if you're thinking about getting this one, I, would, I wouldn't hesitate. I mean, it's already it's taking what has been good and it's making it even better. Now, really in the cup, your, your version 5 DF64 is going to taste pretty similar. Um, just the workflow on this is it's pretty nice. I enjoy it quite a bit. So thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe and make sure to check back soon. If you have any questions about this grinder or anything that we sell, make sure just to leave a comment below or find our email on our website and drop us a line. Thanks.